Hey everyone, this is Video Boy, and welcome to the GDX 2D Beginner's Tutorial Episode 6. So, last episode, we did the main menu stuff. So, we added the hovering and the clicking. The hovering was from the episode before. Right, and then you can click play and then get into the game, right? So, today we're actually going to add the spaceship. I know that last week I said that we're going to add a main menu a logo. We don't really have time to do both, especially with our new 10 minute format. Uh, so, we'll just do the spaceship thing. I thought, you know, might as well do the more fun thing, and then in a later episode, we can get a couple of those really easy things out of the way. Uh, I just wanted to mention one thing before starting this episode. If you guys like these tutorial videos, please leave a like. And if you want, even leave comments. It really helps a lot uh, for me to tell what kind of videos you guys enjoy. Uh, the devlogs seem to get a lot of views and likes and everyone seems to like them. Uh, but the tutorials is a little bit less. So if there are people watching them, please let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'm probably just going to do these videos less frequently and focus on what people seem to like. But if you do watch them, then go ahead and like them. I'll continue doing these videos. They're kind of fun, actually. Okay, so first thing we need to do is, well, we need to remove this texture that we have here. So that libgdx texture. Just get that out. We're going to load some better ones. I still have that scrolling thing. I think it's my mouse. It's a pretty cheap mouse. All right, uh, we don't... Uh, here. Remove the y-axis moving, right? Because we just want our guy to move on the x-axis like this. So we'll keep the left axis one. It's perfectly fine code. Might as well keep it there. No point in rewriting it, right? Okay. So if you're not going to use an image, it's good practice to just remove it from your assets folder. So badlogic.jpg. Just delete that. Yes. Okay, so you may remember we have this ship image. It should already be in your guys' assets folders. We added them a couple of weeks ago. So here's what it looks like. I think I showed it. So it's basically a sprite sheet of five different images. So you have when the ship is just uh, normal. Then you have when it's rolling a little bit to the left then completely to the left, and rolling a little bit to the right, and then completely to the right. So basically we have five different states. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to keep a, a variable, like an integer, as a counter of what state it's in, and then slowly it's going to transfer into the different states. So in 10 minutes, I don't know if I'll be able to do all this uh, perfectly. We'll add the movement, we'll add the ship and everything, but the rolling we might have to do another episode. But uh, yeah, let's just add the animations to start off with. At least the main animation. Okay, so uh, I checked before the width and height of the image is 17 by 32. So I'll try to keep that aspect ratio. Okay, so well, we have the X and Y already. Okay, so let's let's center the ship when it first comes in the game. So uh, we'll set the Y to your Y is equal to you know, 30. Uh, even 30 is a little too much. Do 15. All right, and x is equal to space game dot All right, space game dot width divided by 2 minus width divided by 2. Okay, so we're going to have to make a width here. Let's just do ship width. Make it a little bit more precise. Okay, so let's create some constants. Public static final. Now let's do int. Ship width is equal to, so a multiple of 17. So let's do uh, 17 times 2. Okay, so like 34, and then maybe do three times. So 34, get uh, 41, and then plus 10, so 51. So 
So do 51. And then the height, public static final and chip height. And then 32 times 3. That's pretty easy. 96. Okay. So now it should center the image, but let's actually load the image. So the way we're going to do this, we're going to do it as an animation. So I'm going to create the integer that keeps track of the roll of the ship. So we'll just call it into roll. I think we'll make this episode a little longer than 10 minutes. Might as well. Okay. So let's create an animation array. So what arrays are, this is a beginner tutorial. I'm going to explain to you guys what arrays are. Uh, arrays are basically a any data type, but you can have multiple of them with the same name and you just access them by index. So you can have a float array too. So you just say like uh, positions or something. So just so you have multiple positions, you can create a float array for it. So you can set it to a new float array. And then just say there's five different positions, you'd put five. For some reason it's giving me an error. Oh, that's just because I didn't finish this line here. Now we'll just call it rolls. Yeah, rolls, why not? Okay, so just say you want to access position at the index the third index so that would be smack in the middle you would use two because it goes since there's five it starts from zero so it goes zero one two three four so that gives you five indexes so that's kind of how arrays work so we don't need this that was just for the example so do the same for animations um, so let's create the new animation array uh, don't forget to control shift O to import the animation class we want the 2D, the G2D one. Uh, LibGDX also has 3D because they support 3D. But we're not doing that in this tutorial. So roles is equal to new animation. And we're going to have five different animations, right? Because there's five different uh, role states. Okay, by default, we're going to set role equal to 2. So that's going to be in the middle. It's not going to be rolling it either way. It's just going to be smack in the middle. Maybe next tutorial we'll make roll change depending on how far X is or something. Okay. So now, next thing we need to do, we need to create a texture region. So this is, uh, this is a 2D array. So basically a 2D array is an array of, an, of arrays. Uh, so don't need to worry too much about that maybe we'll go more into detail in it when we do some other kind of game tutorial um, basically we're just going to be loading in the the role sprite sheet that I showed you guys here I'll load it up with pixel edit okay well pixel edit just doesn't want to load up but basically, you guys remember the image from before. I'll probably edit it into the video. Um, you have, right, you have the five different roll states. And then you also have, within each roll state, there's two animation frames. So basically, the five different roll states are going to be stored with this index. And then you're going to have the two animation states there. Okay, so we're just going to load that into memory. Uh, whoops. What you want to do is you want to call a texture region static method called split. So basically, it takes a texture and it splits it depending on the width and the height. Uh, so the texture is called chip.png, I believe. Okay, and the tile width. Like I said, it was 17 and 32. 
It's not the same width as these. Remember, these are the width and the height of uh, when we're actually drawing the image. Okay, so there you go. Now we have that loaded into memory. So now we need to create new animations. So let's create a new constant. This time it will be a float, public static, final float. And this constant will be the animation speed of the ship. So it's a decibel number. So uh, this is how many seconds between every frame. So I'm just going to try 0 0.5. You can play around with it. So every half a second, it's going to switch frame. Uh, since it has to do with the ship, I'll put it with the other ship variables. Uh, it might be good practice to put these as constants too, but we're just using those numbers once for now, so it's not too big of a deal. Actually, that might be a lot better to do. Instead of having to calculate this, we can just change it later on. So let's do that here. Uh, public static final. Int uh, ship with pixel, it's the pixelated version, equal to 17. Here, we'll just copy it. No point in typing over the whole line again. Thirty-two, and then here we can just do ship with pixel times three. Now computers are good at math, so we might as well just let the computer do the math, right? <laughs> ship with pixel. All right, change that to height. Okay, so now we need to load the different animations. So um, I guess we could load in the other animations for the next tutorial. We'll just load in one for now. Uh, so we already set roles. So let's set roles at index two. Right, so here, we'll set an index role. So role is equal to two, so it's the same thing pretty much. Uh, but it just makes it a bit more obvious. So when it's at two, it's going to use the main uh, image, which is the the one where the ship isn't rolling at all. All right, is equal to new animation. So we're creating a new animation, and if you hit Control Space, it'll give you some some different uh, constructors. We'll talk a little bit more about constructors, but basically when you create a new object, uh, there's different things you can pass to it that it uses to create the object. All right, so frame duration, we already did that, right? We did the constant animation speed. I guess frame duration is a more appropriate name for it, uh, but that's fine. All right, and then roll sprite sheet roll. So since this is a two dimensional array, what we're doing here is we're treating it as if it's a one dimensional array that has one dimensional arrays within it. So what we're doing is we're getting uh, the sprite sheet where uh, the, image is, the image of the ship is not rolled on either side. So that's at roll, right? Which is at uh, two. Actually, I think I'm not mistaken, I think it's at zero on the texture. So we'll do zero because it's the first one. And then with that, we're actually getting another texture region array. And the animation needs that, right? It needs multiple texture regions to do the animation. You can't just use one, so it uses an array. So by indexing it, uh, we're asking for uh, we're asking for another array within the two-dimensional one. You guys will eventually get the hang of it, but that's basically it. All right. So, yeah, that's pretty much all loaded. So let's actually just draw the image now. So the 
uh, draw thing is almost exactly the same as before, except getting the texture is a bit different. So game batch so draw right. Instead of using texture, we're going to be using texture region. Uh, here, I'll try to find the one that uses width and height, but not all the other stuff. That's okay. We'll just add it ourselves. Okay, so instead of adding an actual image right in there, what we need to do is we need to get um, the image of the animation at the current frame. So the way we do that, uh, so we get roles, which is our animation object, right? Well, it's our animation array. I'm going to get the one at role dot get keyframe. So we're going to use the second one because the second one asks us if we want it to be looping or not. And yes, we do. Okay, so it's asking for state time. We don't have state time in there right now, but we'll add in a second. And looping will set to true. Uh, that's the X and Y. So we'll set to X, Y. And then we'll use the ship width and ship height. Okay, so state time. Uh, so I know you remember when we talked about delta time, the time between every frame. Well, state time is adding it up every frame. So it's very, very easy to do. So basically state time is equal to itself. So plus equals delta. And that's it should work now. Um, but yeah, state time is basically how long uh, an animation has been running. But since we're looping, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we, we don't need to absolutely start the animation at the first frame because you can't really tell what the first frame is. So you can just use a general state time for all those kinds of animations. Um, but basically, the animation class uh, does a little bit of code to tell exactly what frame should be displayed at that instance of time. Okay, so if we draw it, it should work. I mean, if we run it. Okay, so we have our menu just like we planned. And there you go. Ship is moving. Of course, you can go off screen now. But at least you have the animation. And I think the pixel height might be a little bit off. It seems kind of squished. Oh, I see what I did wrong. <laughs> Here you go. It's supposed to be height. That's the nice thing with using constants. When you have a little mistake, you change it once, and it should be fixed for pretty much everywhere. There you go. Okay. So we'll end this tutorial here, uh, much longer than 10 minutes in the end, but uh, I think that's okay. It's not too bad. Uh, so in the next tutorial, we're going to add the different rolling. So whenever the we move for a couple of seconds, it's going to roll onto another animation. We'll add in the other animations too. Um, yeah, and then after that, we can work on the background uh, on the logo image and it's like maybe in two three tutorials we can start adding bullets and enemies anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you like the video please leave a like like i said at the beginning of the video uh this is a good indication for me of whether these videos are really being watched and if i should continue making them so if you are watching them please leave a like and leave a comment and also if you're new to the channel please subscribe uh, it means a lot and um Yep, so there's going to be a devlog this weekend, so I guess I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.